In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, good morning. We have some special guests today at this Mass. Boys and girls, good morning. Good morning. Very good, very good. The children, they are from school of read. They are preparing themselves for their first Holy Communion. That's happening now on the 13th of April. Boys and girls, you are always welcome. And God bless you. And God bless your family. Also, words of welcome to those who are watching us the webcam, following this Mass through our parish radio and around the world with Shalom World TV. You are always welcomed at this Mass. Pray for you, your families, pray for the children, but especially remember in our prayers Father Simon Jean and his family. Unfortunately, Father Simon's dad, Joseph Jean, passed away this morning in China. We remember him and his family in our prayers. And brothers and sisters, at the beginning of this Mass, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And we pray together. I confess, I confess to Almighty to God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and my, my words, words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to through my fault, through, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance. In your kindness, grant those you steer a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
for us to read. A reading from the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is it true that you do not serve my gods and that you refuse to worship the golden statue I have erected? When you hear the sound of horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, or any other instrument, are you prepared to prostrate yourselves and worship the statue I have made? If you refuse to worship it, you must be thrown straight away into the burning, fiery furnace. And where is the God who could save you from my power? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to King Nebuchadnezzar, Your question hardly requires an answer. If our God, the one we serve, is able to save us from the burning, fiery furnace and from your power, O King, he will save us. And even if he does not, then we must know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the statue you have erected. These words infuriated King Nebuchadnezzar. His expression was very different now as he looked at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He gave orders for the furnace to be made seven times hotter than usual and commanded certain stalwarts from his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the burning, burning fiery furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar sprang to his feet in amazement. He said to his advisers, Did we not have these three men thrown bound into the fire? They replied, Certainly, O king. But, he went on, I can see four men walking about freely in the heart of the fire without coming to any harm. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He has sent his angel to rescue his servants, who, putting their trust in him, defy the order of the king and prefer to forfeit their bodies rather than serve or worship any god but their own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Response. To you glory and praise forevermore. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers. To you glory and praise forevermore. Blessed your glorious holy name. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the temple of your glory. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed on the throne of your kingdom. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed who gaze into the depths. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed in the ferment of heaven. To you glory and praise forevermore. Gospel acclamation. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. And to the Jews who believe in him, Jesus said, If you make my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples. You will learn the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered, We are descended from Abraham, and we have never been the slaves of anyone. What do you mean, you be made free? And Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, everyone who commits sin is a slave. Now the slave's place in the house is not assured, but the son's place is assured. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descended from Abraham, but in spite of what you want, but in spite of that, you want to kill me because nothing I say has penetrated into you. 
What I, for my part, I speak of is what I have seen with my father. But you, you put into action the lessons learned from your father. They repeated, Our father is Abraham. And Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do as Abraham did. As it is, you want to kill me when I tell you the truth that I have learned it from God. That is not what Abraham did. What you are doing is what your father does. You were not born, we are not born of prostitution. They went on, we have one father, God. And Jesus answered, if God were your father, you would love me since I have come from, him, from God. Yes, I have come from him. Not that I came because I choose. No, I was sent and by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, you did very well at the beginning of Mass with the confiteor. I could hear your voices from here. Now, I know that you know the lyrics, so if you could help me with the song, I would love it. And the song is, Christ be her light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be her light, shine in your church, gather to the Christ be her light, shine in our hearts, shine to the darkness. Christ be her light, shine in your church. Thank you. What is freedom? What does it mean to be free? The English dictionaries present freedom as one, the right to act, speak, or think as one wants. Two, the absence of subjection to a foreign domination or despotic government. Three, the power and the quality of being dependent of faith or necessity. Fourth, freedom is the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved. And fifth, freedom is the ability and disposition to do whatever one wants, whenever one wants, as long as one wants. There are many slogans related to freedom and feeling free through centuries. Also, human has sought freedom in various forms, freedom of oppression, freedom of choice, and freedom of expression. Yet, amid these noble pursuits, true freedom often remains elusive we find ourselves bound by errors and mistakes, confined by our desires, and misled by agendas and ideologies. In the gospel that we just heard, Jesus declares, the truth will make you free. The truth will make you free. And later, our Lord will proclaim about himself, I am the truth. By doing it, Jesus established himself as the source of true freedom. It's only through Jesus that we enter in what, what St. Paul calls the glorious freedom of the children of God. Jesus frees us from sin and all that weakens us. The Holy Spirit that he pours into our hearts empowers us to live as the Lord wants us to live. We all are made by a free act of God to reach freedom in our lives. It may look old-fashioned, but the teachings of the church, we always insist that we human beings only find true freedom in Christ. 
And true freedom is the freedom to love, the freedom to choose what is best for others and for us, the freedom to give ourselves to others as Jesus gave of himself to us. Dear boys and girls, sometimes we feel trapped by things like fear, sadness, or anger. But when we know Jesus and follow his teachings, we find true freedom. It's like having a light inside us that helps us to see the right path to take. Jesus offers us a wonderful gift, which is the chance to be children of God. Jesus shows us a way to be good, compassionate, and kind. So, my dear children, let us remember the words of Jesus today. We must follow him, walk in his ways, and experience the freedom that he only can give. For in Jesus, we find the light that leads us to a life of joy, peace, and love. And that is true freedom. May the light of Christ be always shine in our hearts, in our lives. And we pray together. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. And may especially the light of Christ be light for the children in their final preparation for their first Holy Communion. And brothers and sisters, with confidence, we present to the Lord our prayers and intentions for this morning. We pray for our church leaders that they may lead us by example in embracing the call to repentance and renewal during this season of Lent. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are struggling with temptation or doubt that they may find strength and courage in their faith during this Lenten season. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the millions of people who are trapped in situations of warfare and violence. May the perpetrators have a change of heart and instead work for the welfare and security of all those whose lives they threaten. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who join us this morning virtually. May you continue to know the presence of God alive and active in your hearts and in your homes. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Now, so brothers and sisters, now, so dear children, in the silence of our hearts, we bring to the Lord our personal intentions and prayers as well. And for our personal needs, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We also present to the Lord some special intentions. We pray for Vincent Ejinkioni in Nigeria. Birth blessings for Susan Rachel. We also we pray for those who have died. We remember Joseph Chen in China. As I mentioned at the beginning of Mass, he is the father of Father Simon. We pray for him and his family. We pray for Anne Kamen, Belmont, and formerly Kushnahan. Funeral Mass take place in Belmont tomorrow at 11 a.m. First anniversary Mass for Mary Hickey, St. John's Square. And also those whose anniversaries occur this time of the year. Ellen and John Fennell, Greatland Street. Mary Daly, Marion Avenue. Suzanne McLear, St. Bridget's Place, 10th anniversary. 
Fiona Donoher, Shari Gart, fourth anniversary. Eigen Istum, formerly Green Road. Kathleen Kit Lawler. Daughter Harry McDonald, Nablix. Leo in Australia. And Joshua Thames in India. And also birthday remembers for Maureen Fox, formerly Bridget Road, Port Leash, and Ballard Lodge. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls, souls of, of the faithful departed, departed to the, the mercy, mercy of God, God. rest in peace. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer, come and listen to me. Brothers and sisters, pray, my dear children, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our dear to our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, and since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, 
and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make all these gifts you have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and gave you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and gave you thanks, said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We need this bread and, and drink this cup. cup. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, death, o Lord until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, Lord, let's celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, as we look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that you may be the inheritance of your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession or presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, if your servant Francis our Pope, then as our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. And listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, our merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this, this day, day our daily bread, bread 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from Amen. Well done, well done. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace in unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, of the world have, mercy have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And we say together our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive it to my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were there, and unite myself wholly to you, and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O oh Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And brothers and sisters, thanks for joining us from us this morning. Boys and girls, it was lovely seeing you here again. And we are really looking forward to celebrate your first Holy Communion in around 25 days, I guess. Really, 20 days. You'll be here on the 13th of April at 12 and 2 p.m. for your first Holy Communion. And that is not only a blessing for your hearts, a blessing for our families, but also a blessing for this parish community. And I invite the grown-ups to, to say a prayer for the children and also a prayer for their families that we may always find the Eucharist, the remedy and the strength for our lives. And to our boys and girls and their teachers, a round of applause. Very good. <laughs> You're brilliant. You're brilliant. I wish you a very, very good day. Now, boys and girls, put your hands together like that and bow your heads for a special blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
no matter what you are going through, fear not, God can deliver you. Be assured that we are always there to pray for you. Submit your prayer requests at swprayer.org. Call us. Prayer for Holiness. O oh, righteous one, I am deeply sorry for my sinful ways and worldly choices. <laughs> 